Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we are going to kind of continue on the previous videos that we have made already when we played in encoders and I've decided to create a couple of example projects so we can have a look at how that works in real life when it comes down to velocity, uh, a distance measurement and also RPM measurement and things like that. But before I do that I have to make this video so you can more or less see where I got my function blocks from. So, and today's uh, task is we have a look at the libraries itself, how the libraries work, how useful they can be, and, and, and how to pretty much get them going. One thing that Siemens does very, very well, and doesn't mean other, gu other guys doesn't do it, but Siemens does very well with it when it comes down to TI portals, people are able to share their function blocks. Sometimes there's a very complex thing that has been, it's, 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 it's been done over and over and over and over and over. Siemens often... Not just Siemens, but other people often create a function block for it. So, but they don't usually often implement them into directly into TR Portal. But you need to download it yourself and implement it and, and sort of uh, load it into your uh, project when you are needing them and when you are working with them. And also, we're going to be using Siemens example that they have created it for a, our uh, next up, uh, upcoming videos. We're going to be checking out those examples because they are very, very good and very easy to work with. And that's why I wanted to show you and show you these, these uh, uh, specific examples, how they work with their function block. So today's task is to have a look at where to get a, uh, the libraries, especially there's one library called LGF, which has very very good function blocks into it that can advance you and help you help you in your programming and speeding up your uh, program a much 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 faster than you would normally do because you don't have to create those function blocks and definitely we can check out check them out in a minute where to get them how to put them into your project and also have a look at it as well how to get their documentations and so on so yeah that's what we do today so let's get started Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so before we get started, if we, uh, go into the description below and there's going to be a link called Library General Functions LGF. Click that link and it will take you to this page. Alternatively, you can type in a uh, in Google LGF Library Download Siemens. It will take you to the page as well. So from there on, one thing the Siemens requires for anything to for you to be able to do on their website, you've got to have an account. So account is easy to do, just register and they uh, wait for their uh, answer. Once they uh, activate you, you should be able to do exactly what we're going to be trying to do in here. As you can see in here, we have two versions. One is TIA V16 and one is TIA V17. We are going to be working with V16, so that's the one I'm going to be downloading today. Actually, there's actually one function block in TIA, uh, TIA v, uh, V17 that I really, really want. So I'm going to be upgrading my v17 very very soon and i'm going to be checking it out as well but for now we can only use v16 version so version of it so uh once you've done that just click at the uh, uh the, the downloading here or download it into zip or whatever else you're using i'm using winrar and then uh, uh, unzip it and put it in a specific folder but before we go i quickly show you this documentation in here this documentation will be accessible as well via the tr portal but i'm going to show you in a minute as you can see in here here is a lot of functions in here. A lot of function blocks in here that has a complex maths and all other things that you can possibly imagine that uh, could help you in your uh, advancement into your projects and uh, making your life much, much easier. So to give you a better, better understanding, as you can see, uh, that the, uh, the function blocks are contained within this library is data handling, convert operations, math operations, date and time operations, signal generators, and other functions. The one very interesting uh, function block that I used from this uh, from this library is a uh, floating average. Very, very useful. Hopefully, I will make a video sometimes in the future so you how that would work. Basically, it's able to collect uh, any form of data that's coming in and is able to uh, collect at least 100 of it and give you an average if you uh, wish in, in depending of what what kind of readouts you how many of uh, how many samples you would like to have the average from very very good function block would take me ages to to program something like that but with this function block help me a lot anyway once we've done that let's load up our tr portal so there we are so i have a freshly open project but before we get started i'll quickly show you where i store my libraries i actually have siemens block li uh, libraries special folder in here once i downloaded the file i unzipped it 
and put them into here as you can see i have a couple in here and we're going to be creating our own as well so uh let's remove that so that's it go into ti portal go into the libraries and as in here right in the libraries you can click a button in here which is going to show you open global library so we would just want to open it for now so once we go that do that so if it's go into the siemens block libraries we are in v16 as you can see when you go in 17 it doesn't show you because you are in a, a different version so it's going to v 16 as you can see lgf al16 so once you've done that it will load the library into your project and as you can see the library is here so uh, going in types lgf oh and as you can see in here all your libraries are uh, all the function blocks that you were uh, is both part of this library are now accessible to you so let let me create add a a new device here is our device so let's go into programming blocks in here and add one of those function blocks into our main ob1 So yeah, here you go, libraries. Let's say you would want exactly what I wanted it, which was a... S ah, there it is. It was right under the uh, measurement operations. So drag it, drop it as usually we do, and there we go. It is straight into your project. It will create a data block, which is uh, normal. And voila, as you can see in here, so I am now able to use that function block into my project. If you want to read up on it, what this function block actually does and how does it work, what you need to do is, as you can see, F1, if you click F1, it doesn't work. It will, it will, it will open the library for us and it's going to take you straight to this very weird window. That's no good to us. It says creating laddered program. It's just like nothing. So what you need to do this is very good. So go into libraries, go into the block that you want to work with, and let's say we want to uh, let's say we want to find out what this floating average do and how to actually work with it. So what you need to do click uh, hold shift and then click F1. And while doing that is going to take you to actual web page. And in there, as you can see in here, is a full explanation of what this uh, function block is doing with the full blown details. How about that? And as you can see, change log. And to give you the bit of under uh, the, the complexity that is part of these blocks and where, where they become so useful, if you double click on that one, we're gonna open up and have a look. I'll have a look at the amount of work has been put into this. A lot. And it does a lot of work. If you go into the, the data block itself, as you can see, whole load is happening in here. As you can see, if you go into the array as well in here, this is where, as you can see, it will store all the values and does all these maths and calculations and so on and so on. That's why these libraries are so good, these function blocks that you are able to share it. So that's a Siemens library. So let's say what we're going to do in here, uh, we're going to close this. We no longer need this. So let's just say, mm, do we want to say, no, we don't want to save it. We don't want to save it. So now that we've got our library, it's already stored in one of our folders. Happy days. So what I want to do now, I'm going to go again do to Siemens site. And this time I'm going to say uh, Siemens S1200 uh, HSC examples. Okay. Oh, I didn't even spell that right, but it doesn't matter. So in here, we're going to take to go to the website. Again, you need to be registered. And I want to take a have a look at the how Siemens has created some of these examples within their projects. As you can see right in here, it says project for step V14. Nothing to worry. If you're working on 16 or 17, you can just upgrade it. So download this file. Again, be sure you are registered with Siemens. Once you download the file, as you can see, my file is here. And uh, what you need to do is just grab it and drag it into V16 and then follow all the procedures how to upgrade it to v16 most of you are more or less sure that you already know how to do that so let's open this up as i already have that 
into my already converted in here so we don't drag on too long. There is my convert a converted file already. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up. There we are. So uh, let's open up the examples in here. As you can see, Siemens has created on, 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 their, on their CPUs, but three examples in their speed, length, and velocity. We're gonna be checking all three of those out in upcoming videos. And in here, as you can see, we have program blocks. And in here is it calculate speed. So we want to, let's say you want to follow what Siemens is saying. And by the way, that block there is very, very good because I was checking out a lot of videos online, how to do the calculation of the speed. Ah, not really, no. I just thought there's got to be easier way and Siemens has created an easy way and that's why we're going to be checking out in the next video. All these, is, all these uh, all examples are right in there. So I want to use that in my project. Okay, I want to use this, let's say calculate the speed in my project. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go into libraries. And as you can see, it still sees my library, LGF library in here. The weird part is sometimes it shows up, yeah, and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe when I start a new project, it doesn't and I need to load it. It's just, it's just weird. But if it doesn't, if it's not there, just reopen it again. So I want, let's say my own library. So we're going to call it IGS. Whatever, let's call it IG IGFs library. It's going to call it like that. So it's going to create a new library for us. So what we can do now, open up and take that calculate calculate speed function block and put it in our function uh, in our library. So now we can use that in our projects. So put it right in there. There we go. He just copied it into master copies. Now also. I want to use this data example block as well in here because you will see in the next video why I want to take it to make your lives easier if you want to follow exactly what Siemens is trying to tell you in those examples. So we're going to copy the data block as well. Obviously we can create it easily, but I want to copy it there. Boom. Save that as well. And there. So that's it. So having done that, so uh, uh, let's click a save. And close this. Uh, uh, let's go open a new project. Uh, whatever, call it project one, whatever. And let's say it's our new project in here. And as you can see now, I am able to a uh, uh, in a new project. Sometimes again, I still haven't worked out how that how why it's sometimes showing why it's not. But if it doesn't, it will be you'll be able to just uh, go into open library. Go okay, in the desktop where it's already storing them into my folder. Let's open up. As you can see already straight away, it has created that folder a folder in my Siemens block library already. How about that? So now I can, now we have learned how to use Siemens libraries, how to load them in and how and uh, where to get them. There's other places where you can get different types of libraries. Definitely check and we'll be checking them out in the future. And this is how we create our own library, copying uh, Siemens project uh, function blocks so we can use them in our projects itself and that ladies and gentlemen we will do for this video hopefully it is helping you out and give you a better understanding where those funk out to can you use someone else's function blocks and and so on we're going to be using using a few of them in, in the next upcoming videos so yeah that will do if you like the video don't forget to smash that like do subscribe if you're new to the channel and of course if you like the videos i'll see you next one